hello everybody this is your boy Asono Victoria here I'm so glad to be with you guys in this video so today I got a request from my subscriber asking me to design a services page only in HTML and CSS so this is what I came up with I decided to design this web page and it is only using HTML and CSS so as you can see we have three four services here but i just put web development web development web development but you can put whatever you want to put there and as you can see when we bring a cursor out of the service the color is kind of light gray but if i put like the cursor on the service then the the background color will change to white the same goes to the rest and it is actually only like the basic HTML and CSS to come with something like this and this is what we are going to build in this video so let's get it started I'm going to open my VS code in my VS code I have two files which is the services.html and CS style.css in my services.html I'm going to run a HTML boilerplate like this and change this one, the document, the title to service services page and then come here, let me link to my CSS I'm going to say link style sheet which is linking to my CSS so in my CSS, I have to just give some basic styling. Let me strip up all the paddings, which is coming by default. Padding and margin. Up zero also. And give it a box sizing. The border box. So come to my HTML. So before we proceed, guys, everybody like. I'm so glad when you people like and share my content and subscribe to my channel. That one will help me a lot, and that one shows you appreciate the effort I'm doing, like to create such a content to you. So please smash that like, subscribe, and share with friends. And let's get let's go let's continue so what we want here is we want to come with a building block so we are going to start with the main tab i'm going to use semantic semantic html which is the latest html mostly so i'm going to use it in this video okay so we have the main inside the main we are want to use a section in HTML. Then I'm, I'm going to say section. Section. Then let me give it a class. So I want to call it a class of head. If I hit enter, then I'll get my section there with a class of head. Inside our section. We want also an article. We have an ad, one an article and image. So at first I want the image. So after the image, I want the article. I want the article with the class name of services. So I'm going to go slowly because I want you guys to follow with me what I'm writing. So inside the article of class services, I want an article with the class of service now, which is going to be a child of the services. So let me say article. Article with the class of service. 
like this so you see the class names are different this is services and this is service so don't confuse yourself between those classes so inside services i want an icon but i'm just going to use an image as an icon here so after the icon i want i want a title and then a description after the description i want a link so i'm gonna say article i'm going to use everything here article article i'm not going to use those p tag and i'm going to use only the semantic html tags so article with a class of title this is what we want and then come down here shift alt and down key to get this one and then here i'm going to set the class of description and then here i'm gonna say the anchor the anchor so it is going to be a duck I'll just put forward slash inside the a tag i'm gonna say more and for the description i'm going to say lauren 20 this one will generate for me a boilerplate text with 20 characters so like this so let me come to the title the title I'm gonna give it a web development web development not web developer but web development so this is what you want and if I save the file open my browser let me come to Chrome and then this is what we have the images are not showing because she didn't put in an image so i'm going to search on browser and get an image that image i use it is it is a lady lady image oops my internet so my internet is now connected and this is the image we used in our project so i'm going to click on this image so this is the image I'm gonna click on this so this is the image I want to grab this image so copy and then copy full path after copying the full path I'll just come to my image here and then paste this on here so if I hit save Then come to my browser here and you see we have the image here now all right let me close this tab let me check if it is running yeah it is running so we have pasted the image so what you want is now the icon let me come and search for the icon i'm gonna say web depth web depth icon so there are a bunch of icons here let me see the perfect one for me actually you can use any kind of icon you want but I'm just going to choose the the favorite one I normally use. So it seems like my internet is kind of weak. Yeah, here we go. 
so this is the one i'm going to use and it is actually free just download the icon click on it then you download it from here i've already downloaded that icon so i'll just import it in my html Here I'm going to create the I, I create the whatever the folder of icon and then I have the icon here. So there's no need for me to download the icon because I have it now. I'm going to come to my SRC and then go to icons and then this is the icon. If I save the file, come to my browser and then I hit refresh, then I'll see I have the icon here. So this is our HTML. So let's get into our CSS. In our CSS, we have a, a lot of attributes there, actually, a lot of designing. So first thing we are going to is start use start designing. We are going to we are going to target first then body tag. I'm gonna say body. And in the body, I want to give it a background. The background color is going to be RGBA color, RGBA, not RGB, but RGB, RGB, not RGBA. I'm going, I'm not going to put the alpha there. So it is going to be nine, one, nine, seven, and then one, seven, zero, then one, seven, zero. So this is the color I use for the background. You can use any color of your choice. I'm going to give it a width. And the width is going to be of 100%. So come to our main. I'm going to give it a width of 80. Width of 80%. And then I'm going to give it a margin. Margin from top of 20 margin from top of 20 pixel and then offer left and right to bring everything to the center and so i'm going to target now the head class remember in our html file here we have the head class so it is the one i want to target in the head class i want to give it a let me first target it and give it a margin. Margin no margin of 20 pixel. 20 pixel and then left and right to be zero. And then I'm gonna give it a position of relative. Why I'm why I'm giving this position of relative because I'm going to play around with them with the services actually. So let me target the banner, the banner which is our image here. So let me first give it a class of banner. Class of banner. And then come to our CSS. I'm gonna say head. And then in the head, give me the banner, which is the image. So I have to play around with the image. I want to give it a width. A width of 100% to take the full width. To take the full width of the, of the main. So I'm going to give it a height also. And my height, I'm going to give it a 400 pixel, the same like the height I used. And then I'm going to give it an object fit and to be cover. All right. Then I'm going to give it a border radius. Border radius. The border radius is going to be of 10 pixels or 20 pixels will be okay. 20 pixels. So if I save and come to my Chrome, then you see I have a very nice, I have a very nice image here now. So back to our 
text editor i'm going to target i'm going to target now the surfaces which is inside the head get into the head the class of head and then get for me surfaces class of surfaces like this inside the class of services is where i'm going to give it a position a position of absolute now to be as a child to be the child of the what of the main no of the head so that it can move anywhere in the head so i'm going to get started from the bottom and then the bottom i want to give it a negative 100 pixels then I'm going to give it a margin margin from top of 0 left and right to be 20 pixels yeah so I'm going to display it as flex I'm going to display it as flex I'm going to justify justify content to the center and even align all the items to the center like this okay so I want to give it a grab the grab to be 10 pixels spacing like space between the items so next we have to target now the service which is inside the services so i'm going to take the class of service services and then get for me the service so inside the service i want to take a background color and then the background color i'm going to give it anti aqua white and then i'm going to give it the border radius border border radius of 7 pixels then i'm going to give it a padding a padding of 10 pixels all sizes all sides i'm going to give it a text align to the center text align to the center then I'm going to give it a line height to give some line between the text and the line height is going to be 7 pixels now let it be 20 pixels at least to be big and then I'm going to give it a position of relative because I want the icon to be like on top of like in the middle of the whatever of the services if i save the file come to my browser then you see i have something like this so we have to play around now with the icon so come to the class of service In the class of service get for me the img remember our icon is in img file I'm going to give it a width of 30 pixel, something small. And then I'm going to give it a height, a height of 30 pixel also. To be small in size. And then I want to give it a background color. Background. Background color of gray. So I'm going to put DDD palm symbol and then the, the which will give us the gray color so let's give it a padding to give it some breathing space and then let's give it a border radius border radius and then let the border radius be something like seven pixel or five pixel let me use seven pixel and then let me give it a position 
position of absolute of absolute like this so it will be absolute to this to this service and then we want to give it a top this side to get the top and negative 20 pixel at the top side at the top and then i'm going to give it a left of 45 percent so if i save the file come to my browser then i'll see it is here like no it is taking good effect now so what do you want to do come back to our html in our html we want to take this article with the services and then i'll save them down key one two three four so we have now one two three four yeah like this if i save the file let me come to the browser then you see we have it here so it is now coming like you know this almost like what we are expecting so we have to play around now with the title which is here the class of titles so let me come to my css target the title and give it some styling so i'm going to give it a margin the margin is going to be from top and yeah from top and bot and bottom so i want it to be 20 pixels top and bottom and then zero left and right that is first thing and then i want to give it a font size of 16 pixel font size of 16 pixels and then font weight font weight of bold let me give it a ball if i save it and then come to my browser then you'll see something like this so we are getting it now so we have to target our description also i call it this and then in the description i want to give it a margin from bottom to be 20 pixel also and then i want to give it a color I want its color to be RGBA color. So I'm going to write the color code which is 204 and then 147 then 155. If I save the file and then come to my browser then you see we have like we are getting what we want actually now so let's play around now with the anchor tag which is this anchor tags so come to my css and just call the anchor tag first thing i want to give it a color and i want its color to be black in color that is first thing second thing i want to give it a font weight like to be bold I want it to be bold and then I want to take that line out the text decoration to be of none so if I save the file and then come to our browser then you can see this is exactly what we want so as you can see we, we missed with something which is our title to share our services so I'm going to come to my HTML file and then in my HTML file, just after the main, I'm going to put a head one. And then the head one is going to say hour. And then I'm going to put a span because I want to separate the colors. And then I'll say services. Our services like this. So if I save the file come to the browser then you see we have our services there so let's play around with it and make it like in the center and give some color on it come to our CSS 
let me come at the top of the body now let it be at the main i'm going to say head one and then i want the text to be aligned in the center and then i want margin from top margin from top to be of 10 pixels 10 pixels so the span the span i want it to be color blue so if i save the file and then come to my browser and you see tada this is what exactly we have in our previous in our whatever this is actually what we want to achieve in this project and this is our services page so we we'll remain with something simple just like putting the hover effect on this one and the cursor so what what we want to do is to target the service so after the after this one here i'm going to say class of service and then i want to give it a hover effect so the first thing i want to do is just take this two line of code copy it then put it here when you hover it we want it to be like this but the color i just wanted to change it to be white to be absolutely white yeah and then i want to put like a finger you no know, like a hand because when you are putting like this you see there's no hand we just only see the arrow so we need the hand so i'm gonna save cursor of pointer and then save the file come to our browser then refresh then if i hit put like this you see everything is working as expected and we come to the end of our tutorial to the end of our video i'm so glad to be to make such kind of contents and publish it on youtube so that you all can also learn something new and can customize it and make it yours and please and please if you really learn something please don't forget to share my video and subscribe to my channel that one helps me a lot and as you can see, we forget to put some space here. Just go to your HTML file and put some space here. So I'm come here, put a space, then save. Please and please once again subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to make such kind of tutorial with you guys. And I hope in the future I'm gonna make something great also. So see you guys in the future.